What we're going to look at now is compositing. And compositing is taking different parts of different audio takes and putting them together to make the perfect take. It's most commonly used in things like vocals, where you might have someone performing uh, several passes of a take, and maybe they get the first bit of the first one just right and the second bit of the second one just right. Or, you know, you might have a guitar part and you're just jamming an idea in a loop and uh, you play a bit in the middle, which is great, but the bits at either end aren't fantastic. But in another clip, the end bits are great and the middle bit isn't fantastic. So using compositing, you can uh, mix and match these and create basically a, a take that's never actually been performed, but sounds like it has. Now you'll be relieved to hear that I'm not going to sing at you, but what I am going to do is record a synth loop, and I'm going to record it three times in a loop, and I'm going to play it differently every time, so that I can then show you how compositing works. So I'll just play it. So you uh, get the idea with that. Now it doesn't look like anything interesting has happened here, but if I double click on our audio clip, you can see, I'll have to make this a bit bigger, that we've got three different takes. And the take that is shown in red is the one that's audible. Uh, so if I double click on a clip, I can make it audible. Anything that's grayed out here won't be heard. So here is our take. I'm just going to cut out that lane of silence. You can change the relative levels of each of these lanes using these little level sliders here. And this thing here is the little dividing marker, basically. So that shows you which part is going to be heard. So everything to the left of this marker will be heard, and everything to the right of it in this take will be silent. But in this take, will be audible. So if I play this back, when the playhead gets to this point here, it will flick to the other take. And you can hear that there's a slight uh, glitch there because the transition between the two notes isn't perfect. But what I can do if I zoom in, I can use this little fade handle here, and this is really clever, to create a mini crossfade between the two takes. It might take a bit of fiddling to get that right, but if I play it, it should get rid of the glitch. So there you go. Without any fades, it sounds like this. Of course, it would help if I didn't keep coming out of that view by accident. So there's our glitch. But if I add a small fade, glitch is gone. If I wanted to bring some of the third clip in as well, what I could do is press the command key and click to add another marker. And then double click on the third clip. So I command clicked to add another divider. And then I double clicked on our third take to bring it into play. Um, I could alternatively have double clicked on the first take to bring that into play. And you can add as many of these as you want. So if I command clicked, uh, here, let's say, you can see we get a razor tool. I've created yet another edit. And if I then double click on whichever bit I want to be audible, I can bring it in. So what we've got here 
is we've got the first part of the first take, then some of the second, the third, and finally back to the second. And for each of these, you can add little fades. Now, I've done this sort of at random, so uh, how it will sound, I don't know, but um, let's see. Mm -hmm. 